It's day three of Reading Festival and I'm here with Black Foxes. How are you doing? Good, really thanks. good. Yeah, great. Awesome. How was Leeds? Did they treat you well? Uh, yeah, Leeds was a nightmare. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a, bit, a bit of a shambles to tell, to tell you the truth. Um, Mark was getting electric shocks from the beginning. Ideal. Yeah. Just what you want. Uh, it, it took until like three minutes before we were supposed to go on stage um, until they sorted the problem. So um, we didn't get to line check. Like our monitors were all out of whack. It was all yeah. It, it wasn't the best start to a festival, but um, we ploughed through and we had uh, you know we had fun towards the end of it. Obviously, but yeah, the, the start of the set was uh, a bit ropey to tell you the truth. The only way is up though. Now Reading's going to be better. Whatever. Uh, Reading was phenomenal. It, yeah, it exceeded. <laughs> All our expectations for sure. <laughs> now, did you catch no devotion at, at both festivals? See how they did. We we saw them yesterday. Um, they're at Leeds today, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm really stoked for those guys. They had such a good following yesterday. I mean, they really deserve that. They are honestly the nicest guys I've ever met in music. They really are, and uh, they deserve everything they get. So, yeah. I hope they go on to do big, big, big things again. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, I think one of you went to a Reading Festival in 2007 and passed out, didn't you? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. yeah. Have you learned from your mistakes from back then? I literally, uh, I just finished the set and nearly passed out as I was walking back, so I haven't learned. It's just obviously something of Reading. It's just uh, it's tainted. It's a good yeah. party vibe here, though, isn't it? It's hard to play it safe, isn't it, I think? Yeah, I um, had a couple of beers yesterday because um, we had a day off. And I had to really not go further than two because I would have gone mental and not played very well today. You had a big one Friday, didn't you? Had a big one Friday. Big one. We had um, we had Hilton's. We thought we as well treat ourselves, and he stayed in the tent. <laughs> you lied. Me and my friend met some other people that we were friends with, so uh, it just seemed like a good idea. <laughs> it wasn't a good idea. Them strolling back into the hotel uh, like the Saturday morning. Just broken men, like <laughs> almost missed, literally almost missed the legs on fire as well. The taxi ride was a nightmare. <laughs> it nightmare. wasn't worth the risk, was it? It really <laughs> wasn't. When we made it, it's all good in the end. But yeah, I was scared. I was literally so scared. Are you one of these bands that just kind of scrapes through with everything? You like just just about get away with things? No, no, absolutely not. It's just, I mean, Ant, Ant is super organised. Uh, he keeps me and Mark in check. Um, and to be, to be fair, we've been pretty good I mean getting places on time you know we've really cracked down on it we've you know we've got a nice solid sort of load of gear now like we're all very sort of together I feel I feel like we're more together now than we have been but it's just literally this weekend it's just been a bit I mean it's like you know, festivals are never going to be like Reading was good you know today today was great yeah yeah feel about say five minutes before you go on stage is one of you like pacing manically up and down another one a bit like shaky what's the general um, vibe like i suffer super bad of anxiety so um weirdly today was the most calm i've been in so long because it just it kind of all amounted to just years and years of uh dreaming of doing reading i guess and it was so much better than we thought the crowd was great <clears throat> and then you hear the cheer and stuff and i think Sometimes when there's more people, it's actually easier. It's the awkward little shows where you get really nervous. But I think we've we've all got our own little thing to um, to kind of ease ourselves into the moment. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think anything's particularly bad. Uh, anything like that, no. Hopefully you're looking forward to it to an extent anyway. Oh, God, yeah, we're super excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's mainly what it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now you've just signed to Search and Destroy, haven't you? Now, yeah. they've got some incredible bands already there. Which were the ones that they look after that made you think, OK, this is a good pairing, this is the right place to be? Honestly, it wasn't necessarily the bands on the label, it was the direction they wanted to go. Right. Having Dan P. Carter as an A&R guy, it was always going to be impossible to say no yeah. to. Um, so, and it obviously teamed up with the Spine Farm, the US element of it. Um, it was a no-brainer, a complete no-brainer. Seeing what they do to bands and seeing the direction they wanted to take it was completely what we wanted to do. So it um, wasn't necessarily the bands that made us want to sign, it was the way that they were going as a label. I think, I think it was meeting the actual guys that sort of run it all. Um, and they're so passionate about it. Listening to them talk about, you know, our little band was was really sort of like, yeah, it was weird. Yeah. I mean, they, they, it was, it was the, the, the way they... You know, we were so excited about it, and they, you know, admitted they were sort of saying how, you know, we don't have anything like you on the label currently. So it's like, I guess they want to cut their teeth on something a bit different, and um, yeah, they're, they're super excited for it, and that's making us in turn more excited as well. So 
Yeah. Well, you need passionate people because it's such a hard industry. If you don't have a team that feel the same as you do, it's just not going to happen. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. So um, the tour you've got announced is with Deer Hunter, isn't it? Yeah, that's in a couple of days' time. So oh. I'm off home to rest my voice because I can speak this morning. So um, yeah. I've got one that's day to rest. Well, yeah. It? yeah, no, I know. Um, but that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be so so good. I mean, I've been looking up to those guys for a long time. Yeah. So um, it's only four dates, so it'll be a nice little run. Playing a few closer to homes, so we'll have a lot of uh, a lot of close friends coming along, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for it. How do your friends and family feel now you've got signed and things are starting to go like this? Are they a bit more relaxed about the fact that you've chosen to be in a band? Because it's not like the ideal scenario for parents and things, is it? My, my mum's just so happy. Like, she was side stage today and, um, yeah, she just can't believe it, really. She's just overwhelmed by joy. It's great. They're going to miss you guys when you're on the road all the time, though, aren't they? Yeah, I think me and you are little mummy boys, really. Yeah. 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 Your parents won't miss you. Who would? <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my parents are all teachers, uh, so it's very hard. I, I think I think they still struggle with it now, like the fact that, I mean, my dad's so into music and he's got this huge record collection, like, apart from obviously like his work and stuff, like, he's so, he loves music to no end, but I, I you know, like me being in a band and stuff, every so often my mum would be like, so are you going to think about getting a real job? <laughs> My dad's like, you got to start earning money, paying into a pension, and um, I think now that they've seen us get signed and sort of it keeps picking up, I think they're kind of, you know, they're just really excited for it. Um, yeah, so I, I think yeah, it's all, it's all getting to a nice place. What is on your kind of list, a tick list for the next year? Have you got a thing like next year we want to be on this stage at this festival, or what's I think the? We always set ourselves little little goals like at the start of every year. We've only been a band for a year and a half, two years. And every time we set it, jokingly, something bigger comes along. Like, we joked about getting BBC introducing. We were like, oh, we, we might have a shot of that because the local intro guys have been incredible to us. And then it turned out we signed and Dan Picard put us on. And that was in the space of a few months. So um, I think for next year, we just keep raising the bar because you can't just settle for doing the same thing every time. And um, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully be further up the list. If not, maybe we even push ourselves into saying like, hopefully another tent or something. I'm not going to put names on it because that'll uh, that'll come across really weird. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how well the album does. You've got to dream big, though, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Two yeah. Three. You can't settle. Two sure. <laughs> You're a bit more kind of yeah. restrained. I, mean, today I went in today just thinking, oh, there'll be like no one there, and it was amazing because there was those people there. So put it low, and when it happens, it's awesome. There is definitely a buzz around you, though. Like even on Twitter, I see a lot of tweets about you have to check these guys out. Do you like? that or is it a bit like oh please stop talking about us and we don't need pressure no no I, we we love the buzz yeah like at the end of the day the only reason this is so much fun for us is because you get to play music and because to see pe people's faces whilst we're playing we have people we had people at our last gig we've been a band for no time at all with one ep and we had people fly in from norway and then stay up all night to fly back and they made us little cards and stuff um from france and to see that happen it's just like that's what making music is all about so you know the more buzz the better the more people that we can get on board like that that we can um uh, i don't know we can be a part of in some way then yeah 100%. It's all good, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, yeah. after you finish the tour, I'm guessing you're going to concentrate on the album? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, um, back to rehearsals, uh, tighten up what we've got written, head into a studio end of September, October to do pre pros so we can send it around to the label and stuff, for them to go, that's rubbish, do it again. <laughs> Take that out. But, um, yeah, yeah, super excited, super excited. Is there, like, a dream producer you want to work with? There's a couple, but I don't think we should really say, because there's a few that are in the mix, so... Um, but there's a few that we've got our eye on, which would be huge if we get, yeah. Well, they'd be fools to turn it down, wouldn't they? Yes. <laughs> yes, you would. Can you give me a clue about the album? Like, is it going to be more of what we've heard already from EP, or...? I think it's going to be a nice eclectic mix. I mean, we write stuff very naturally. We, we will write stuff in, in an hour, two hours, and we don't like spending too long on it, because else you lose that natural vibe of the song. Um, a lot of it's very poppy in the sense of like Ryan Adams songwriting and then a lot of it's really raw noise, more of the same like where the first EP was but I think more than anything is we've completely found our sound now whereas the first EP we're kind of finding our feet. We've been a band as a free piece for two months before we wrote that so I mean we went in there completely naive um, so I think we're going to do something special with this album. Yeah. 
Knowing what you did about each other's tastes in music, was the sound that came out when you worked together, was it what you expected or you were like, well, this is strange, but is it good strange? Yeah, um, it's a funny story really. I heard about the band, because Mark started with two other people, and um, my friend who was in the band originally said, oh, I'm in the band with Mark, we're doing this, and I was like, that sounds great, dude, I can't wait to hear it. The night before Mark said, do you want to be in the band? I was in town with my housemate at the time and I said I'd love to be in the band with Mark, like I heard what he's doing, it's going to be great, I can't wait to hear it. And then he messaged me and I just, yeah, it was great. Day one, great. It was meant to be, wasn't it? Apparently <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> one weird question that my friend Chris said I have to ask and yeah. that is, um, you outbirded Bill Oddie yeah, or something, I mean, it's what's not, that about? It's not strictly true, but <laughs> I, I'm really... I'm obsessed with, with wildlife and birds and um, when I was a kid um, I used to volunteer locally at my local park and he came down because um, there was a rare bird there and he said oh there's some I can't I honestly can't I think it was like a, a little eagle or something and I was like oh no it's a spoonbill and he was like oh yeah yeah you're right and I was like Bill Oddie take a seat okay. who are you going to catch um, the rest of the day who are you going to watch oh uh, Matt, yeah we are the ocean uh, cancer bats refused oh, yes. the Bronx no, no, no. It was last Friday uh, we missed them not, not the Bronx and we missed the biscuit too brilliant <laughs> yeah. biscuit was sick yeah uh, thanks I am sorry, sorry. You, you could have told us they were terrible. <laughs> and it, you know, I love new metal. I know it's not cool, but I, I love it. It's coming back. Yeah. It's coming back. Yeah. Make it happen, please. That's yeah, the album, no, that's isn't not. it? New metal? No? no? Absolutely not. No. Maybe album yeah. five. <laughs> yeah. That's on tape. That's going to happen, yeah? <laughs> okay, well, have a great day. Lovely Good. to meet you. You too. Thank you. Thank you.